Mental Health Awareness Month, which is super funny because I first saw that and I was like, what? I'm aware of that every day. <laughs> but in all reality, <clears throat> it's pretty cool that the stigma is going away. And <clears throat> I'm so happy that it is. I came at the near and something body. that I've really fought for a long time is getting the stigma to go away from the outside. But the stigma on the inside, that one, that's another story. So feeling OCD and or having OCD or having an eating disorder addiction, whatever, that's one thing. But shame on top of that, feeling like it's your fault or like it's a shortcoming or something to apologize for, that's the internal struggle. Um, so, I've been thinking a lot about that lately um, because I'm just starting to get to a place in my life where. I'm okay with where I'm at. Um, just thinking about how I'm so understanding of other people and what they're going through. But I'm so understanding to the point that if they don't accept me, I'm even understanding of that. <laughs> so. I've been learning a lot lately about what it means to love and accept myself exactly as I am. Because the truth is, everything that I've been through and everything I am is what makes me beautiful. And that's true for all of us. So, I'm hoping that during this next rest of the month, um, I can really sort of focus on that. And hopefully that's something that I can remind everybody about, which is to let go of some of that shame and replace it with acceptance. Yes, it's easier said than done. But, I've said it before, it's when we suffer alone that we truly suffer. And I've had my blog for a long time and I've met a couple people, a couple of you guys, and it's been really amazing that there have been so many of us that have been able to connect. and say something and read something and talk about things and feel like maybe we're not so alone. So let's all do that. Let's all find a little more self-acceptance because I think we can. And what I'm really excited about is pretty soon I will have my medical license and I will be able to support you guys a whole lot more, which is gonna be great. And it's a never ending journey. You know, I my OCD is asymptomatic, but there's always, I'm an ever growing person, ever healing, ever moving toward my optimum health and well being. And my hope is to share that and that we can all get there together because OCD is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. But I got through it. I know it's possible. And more than that, it's impossible. It's possible to not just survive, but to thrive. So that's all I got, but I wanted to say something. 
since it is May. <laughs> so, stay strong.